As a beat maker or music producer, there are so many things that slow you down. Good news, you can change that by tweaking a few things in your routine. And today I'm gonna help you with five habits every producer should pick up. Number one, please stop using external drives. Eventually, I had so many different drives with all my sounds and projects on that I didn't even know where to begin. Instead, I really want you to use a Google Drive to access your files from your browser or on any device. I suggest you even upload your FL Studio projects and everything on a cloud. That way, you can open your projects on your PC, but also on your laptop when you're on the move. I will show you how to install Google Drive on your FL Studio, both on Windows and Mac. So on Windows, simply download Download the Google Drive desktop app. Then once you logged in, you will see a folder called Google Drive. Then if you open it up, create a folder in here and perhaps call it FL Studio or something. Then on top, you will see the file location. Make sure it's selected and copy the path. Now in FL Studio, go to the options menu on top and find file settings. Then in the extra search folders window, click on an empty slot and hit Ctrl plus V to paste the Google Drive location. Once it's done, you'll see it right here in your browser and you can use them as as if they were in your PC. Now, to make sure that you don't have any lag from working from a cloud, we're gonna make sure that Google Drive mirrors your files. To do that, click the Google Drive icon in the app window and then go to settings. In here, go to Google Drive. Then make sure the syncing options are set to mirror files. That way, Google Drive will locally store your samples so that FL Studio can access them instantly. Whenever you're adding a sample to your drive, it will be available on every device that you have your drive on. On a Mac, it works similar. Just install the application and go to the Finder. Then in here, go to Locations and click Google Drive. You'll find your folder in here. Again, just copy it. And then of course, in FL Studio, do the exact same thing. Find an empty slot and paste it in here. For me, this is the best workflow. I never have the issue of my computer not finding a sample because of this. Trick number two, use a password manager. With all the accounts I have, plugins, sound packs, you call it, there's no way I can create a different password for every website and and remember it. But that's where ProtonPass comes into play. It stores and encrypts your passwords and automatically fills them in across all your devices. No more forgotten logins. And the best of all, Proton protects your passwords for free. ProtonPass doesn't just handle passwords. It secures all your login info, credit cards, notes, and more. Let's say you sign up on your computer, but later you need the password on your phone. Normally, you'd reset it, which is wasting time. With ProtonPass, everything is seamlessly synced between your your iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and it even works offline. It also includes a built-in two-factor authenticator, so you don't need a separate app to generate codes. If you want to share your Netflix or FL Studio plugin login with your friends, don't just send your password. Dummy. ProtonPass lets you securely share logins via shared vaults or expiring links. Even people without ProtonPass can access it. And this also works for logins with two-factor authentication enabled. No more asking around for codes. It even protects your real email address by generating email aliases when you sign up on websites. Messages sent to the alias are forwarded to your real inbox. No one will ever see your actual email, which of course protects you from spam and data breaches. And if an alias is compromised, Compromise, ProtonPass alerts you with the dark web monitoring. You can instantly disable it. Aliases can be temporary too, perfect for newsletters, updates, or one-time transactions. So yeah, protect your digital identity with ProtonPass by using my link proton.me slash flbasics. And of course, get an exclusive 60% off. Thank you Proton so much for sponsoring this video. Now it's time for trick number three, sounding more unique. Now I know you're doing it. You're using the same 808 in every beat you make. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. Well, I actually use my phone a lot to record unique samples. Last day, I recorded a zip tie with my phone. And believe it or not, you can do a lot with it. I was just messing around and created a cool sound effect. I know it sounds like a duck, but if you can make it sound like a duck, you can make anything out of it. All I did was add a reverb effect to it, which made it sound like this. Then I added a portal effect, which is just one of the presets in here. You can also do this with Crow's Beat, by the way. But then I added an EQ to shape the sound. 
you can do a lot with this sound effect. This way you're limiting yourself, which will force you into creating super unique samples. Trick number four. This one is a huge one for inspiration. So you open up FL Studio, you have an empty project and you don't know what to do. Well, it might sound stupid, but I want you to take a piece of paper and write down three things. For example, dark, rainy, distortion. I know for a fact that these three keywords triggered some sort of melody in your head right now. This way I'm again limiting myself from too many choices. This is a quick loop I created in five minutes just by looking at my keywords. Trick number five, make it a habit of recreating beats from songs. I mean, look at my Google Calendar. I'm actually recreating one beat from one of my favorite artists once per week. Try to pick an entirely different genre every week. That way you'll learn different styles and different genres. I'm actually recreating some Connor Price instrumentals lately and I absolutely love it. By the way, I created some awesome backgrounds and themes for FL Studio and you can download them for free in the video right here on my left. Thank you so much for watching.